is BGMC Sunday. People need to hear about Jesus and BGMC is continuing that work. So now before we get started on today's country, let's get your blood flowing. We're not in church, but we can still collect BGMC offerings. So pause this video and go grab your buddy barrel. So on the count of three, we're going to search everywhere for lost change. Look in the couch, in the laundry room, in the bottom of somebody's purse. Find something to give to God today. Are you ready? One, two, three, go! that you can give to BGMC online. The same way that we give our tithes and offerings, we can give to BGMC. The link is in the description of this video. You can ask your parents about it. They know all about online giving. Parents, just make sure that you have selected BGMC for your contribution. All right, guys, are you ready to worship? BGMC has released an awesome theme song this year. Let's let God know that he can count on us to do our part to spread the gospel all around the world. Here we go. We've got a battle to fight. God is on our side. We've got a world to reach. Your spirit lives in me. We've got a need to feel. Know it's your will for the world to see that you set them free, and you can count on me. You can count on me.
will serve the king yeah. And I will lay down my life for the one who died to set me free You're my everything, you set the captives free And I want you to know that you can always count on me I will give all I can I will bend a helping hand I will be all I can That was awesome! I can't wait until we can worship all together again. Now let's start our lesson. Hey everyone, welcome to Go360. I'm your host, Reagan. Ever since kids just like you started filling up their buddy barrels, missionaries all around the world have been able to make Jesus become more known. Today we are going to take a look at what is going on over in Europe in the country of Romania. This is where missionary Jan is able to teach about Jesus because kids like you give to BGMC. When we came, uh, at first I could not do anything, they just were not open to it. So I kind of backtracked and I started going out and we go to the churches and we do a program for them. We will do games, we will do skits, we will have clowns, but we will teach them the Word of God. And they start coming they say, well our kids are really are learning. That's so cool. Isn't it good to know that whenever you put a coin or a dollar in a buddy barrel, it's going to make a missionary help Jesus become more known all over the world. Missionary Jan has been able to teach Junior Bible Quiz, except in Romania, they do things a little bit different. Let's take a look. I had heard years ago of some missionary using fly swatters. And so when God opened the doors for me to do Junior Bible Quiz here in Romania, I said, I'm going to try the fly swatters. And we went out and we bought 30 fly swatters. We set up a table, we put an X in the middle. Four children on either side get a fly swatter. When we ask the question, they all slap the fly swatters. Obviously, the first fly swatter on the bottom, on the X, is the first child that tried. I can go to any church in Romania, I don't care how poor they are, and we can provide them eight fly swatters. And we can have a junior Bible quiz. It's fantastic. BGMC means, to me, means I was able to do my ministry. Do what God called me to do here in Romania. So remember, every time you collect money for BGMC, you're helping missionaries all around the world teach kids about Jesus. Oh yeah, and don't forget, Go360! The region called Transylvania is in Romania. This is the flag of Romania. We have 11 Assembly of God missionaries, 3,300 Assembly of God churches, and four Assembly of God Bible schools in Romania. This is Camelia. She lives in Romania. Camelia speaks Romanian. She says, Salut, hello. Camelia lives in a crowded apartment building like this one. In the capital city of Bucharest. Her favorite meal is guvec, a traditional stew. She likes to ride in a tram car to get around the city. Winters in Romania are long and cold. They get lots of snow. 
winter sports are fun, but Camellia prefers the warm summer. In June, she has fun at a traditional craft fair. People come from all over the world. She loves to see the colorful clothing and watch craftspeople at work. Egg painting is very popular. The designs are complicated and beautiful. Camellia's favorite part of the fair is eating sweet Kurtos Kalax chimney cake. Romania has lots of mountains and many old castles. Bears, lynxes, and wolves live in the mountains. Camellia likes to visit relatives in the country. Country possessions are simple, but beautiful. Romanians need Jesus. The word Romania means land of the Romans. Romans lived there during Jesus' time. Many early Christians were martyred there. That means they were killed because they believed in Jesus. A century later, Christianity grew and big churches were built. Most Christians in Romania belong to the Eastern Orthodox Church, similar to Catholicism. Years ago, the government did not allow any Pentecostal churches. Today, we have missionaries in Romania and over 3,000 Assembly of God churches. The missionaries minister in many ways. Some reach kids in poor villages. Their ministry is called Kids Romania. Other missionaries work with the gypsy people. Gypsies are poor and many can't afford to go to school. Churches help gypsy kids with schooling. As a result, many gypsies in Romania have found Jesus. Missionary Reagan Gulgash runs a home for young mothers and for unwanted babies. It's called Touched Romania. Romanian Christians are good at starting new churches. One family moved their seven kids into one bedroom so they could start a house church. This is the actual house. But there are still hundreds of villages with no churches. Radio, TV, and the internet help spread the gospel. But many more people need to hear. Let's look at some of the things BGMC has done in Romania. BGMC has provided books and materials for a mission school. The books teach English to students who plan to be missionaries. Table and chairs for a Pentecostal church in Transylvania, Romania. Tables and chairs for a Saturday Children's Bible Club. Textbooks for the first Christian media training school in Transylvania. Equipment for Eastern European Bible College, EEBC. Library books and textbooks for EEBC. The label here shows books were purchased by BGMC. 
scholarships for students to attend EEBC. These students, Vasil Philippe and Aline Bon, sent personal thank you notes to BGMC kids. A projector for EEBC. Media manuals for EEBC. A projector for missionary Ian Hall. Translation and printing of a course on how to reach European Muslims with the gospel. These are the students at the Bible school. Bibles for kids. Printing and translating of JBQ or Junior Bible Quiz materials. These are Romanian kids studying JBQ. Fly swatters for the JBQ kids to use in place of a buzzer system. Buzzer systems are too expensive and electricity is often a problem. So kids use fly swatters instead. The one on the bottom shows who swatted first and that person gets to answer. Cheetah, the gorilla costume. Cheetah goes to villages to invite kids to outreach events. Lots of kids ministry supplies. This church is in the city of Botian. Christmas gifts for kids. When parents bring their kids for the Christmas gifts, they also hear about Jesus. Sunday school materials for churches. Sunday school materials for the Samaria Gypsy Christian Kindergarten. Educational materials for Gypsy kids. This is a kindergarten in Osled, Romania. Funds for a Gypsy kid after school project. Kids get help with homework are taught music and learn about Jesus. They're also taught how to use computers. BGMC provided these computers. School supplies, including a computer. Supplies for Kids Romania. Thank you for helping BGMC reach the people of Romania. Let's watch this true mission story. No water. Pastor Philemon stood with missionary Ian Hall at the riverbank and looked at the low trickle of water that ran through it. Behind him stood 40 new believers ready to be baptized. But it had been a very hot June, and after four months of drought with no rain at all, the river was much too low to perform a proper baptism. Pastor Philemon said, Ian, how are we going to have a baptismal service in this river? There's hardly any water. Ian joked, perhaps we can lay them down and roll them over to wet both sides. Pastor Philemon looked at the 40 new believers. They were so full of hope now that they had found Jesus. Many people in Romania were hungry for God. Every time the church was open, it was full. The people had been under communist rule for too long. The communist government had told them there was no God. Finally, the people revolted, and the communist government was overthrown. When freedom came to the country, many churches were planted. People were eager to hear the gospel and eager to believe God for salvation and for healing. Missionaries Ian and Sheila Hall had come to work with Pastor Philemon at the Pentecostal Church Piatra Ve in Campulum Musel, Arges, Romania. The church grew and grew so much that it established several branch churches. One of the branch churches was planted in the gypsy community of Bugea de Sus. In just a few months, 40 people made decisions to follow Jesus. Now they wanted to be baptized. As they stood there at the river bank, several other people began to gather around. 
These were unbelievers. They knew that the new believers had come to be baptized. They began to laugh and make fun of them because of the lack of water in the river. Missionary Ian asked Pastor Philemon what he planned to do. Pastor Philemon looked at the new believers. Then he looked at the unbelievers who continued to mock them. Finally, he said, Ian, you go ahead and preach. I will gather the church leaders and we will pray that God will provide the water. And so the service started. They began with singing and then the new believers gave their testimonies. A local Romanian man gave a brief word, then Ian preached, whoosh, swoosh. As Ian came to the end of the sermon, suddenly there was a sound of rushing water. The people turned to look and were amazed to see the abundance of water rushing down the riverbed. Soon the river was full with more than enough water to baptize the believers. God had performed a miracle. One by one, the 40 new believers stepped into the water and were baptized. Pastor Philemon and his assistant, Pastor Nelu, dipped each person under the water and brought them back up again. When the last person came up from the water and stepped out onto the riverbank, the water level dropped back down to where it had been before. Later, Pastor Philemon learned that up in the mountains, some 60 miles away, there had been a heavy rainfall. One of the reservoirs became so full that the authorities decided to open the floodgates and release some water to relieve the pressure. The water arrived just the right time and stayed just long enough to baptize all the new believers. Jesus said, Whoever believes in me, streams of living water will flow from within him. John 7:38. That day, a great stream of river water flowed mightily for those whose hearts were full of the living water, Jesus. Even the unbelievers saw the great miracle that day and could not deny that God had answered the prayers of his people. Perhaps one day they too will become believers and be baptized in the very same river. Time for a scripture picture. Let's see if you can figure it out. Let's see if you've got it. The verse says, Whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. John chapter 7, verse 38. Let's take some time now to pray for Romania. Together as a family, with your siblings, whoever is around you, gather them together and pray for the needs in Romania. We'll see you next week. Bye! We've got a battle to fight. God is on our side. We've got a world to reach. Your spirit lives in me.